I think she wanted to start in a way that was intimate, uh, in which she, particularly in these early states, uh, she wanted to be able to have a real conversation uh, with uh, voters uh, in smaller settings so that uh, it could be just that, a conversation uh, where uh, she could listen to them and hear from them and hear what was on their mind and then, uh, you know, begin to uh, express where she, what she saw the big challenges were, particularly the fact that the deck was stacked against uh, everyday Americans and, uh, and then to try to uh, put forward policy solutions. Today she'll lay out an agenda, but we'll use the uh, summer and the fall to lay out specific solutions to the problems facing the American public. In terms of the new look of this uh, new stage, I mean, is she going to start taking more questions from the press, be in the kind of, you know, do sure, town halls? Sure. We'll be, we'll be uh, uh, taking pre uh, questions from uh, uh, local press tomorrow in Iowa and in, in New Hampshire. Uh, I'm sure she, uh, you'll get a shot at her. And uh, uh, you don't want to book something now, do you? In South Carolina, in Nevada. So she's doing a series of interviews this week, and we'll, and we'll uh, and she'll be, uh, you know, out there answering press questions as well as some voters' questions. You know, I think what she's felt, uh, you know, again in this early stage when you could do it uh, before this gigantic scrum descends on you, uh, is be able to, uh, to, uh, you know, again really be in more of a dialogue with people. So we're going to continue that organizing effort. You'll see her in Iowa, uh, still doing house parties, organizing parties, real. Uh, meetings with people, so you know, because that's what's what it's all about in these early states, uh, is pulling uh, together people who are going to really uh, take the effort to go out, support you at the caucuses. Uh, so we feel really good about that. We think that the team uh, in Iowa, and New Hampshire, and the other early states in Los in Nevada and and in South Carolina are doing a, a great job of pulling volunteers in, uh, building that uh, broad grassroots base that we're going to need to win this nomination. She talked about four fights. There was just a huge fight on the floor of the House on trade. It seems like she was sitting that trade fight out. Well, look, I think she early on said what uh, she thought uh, needed to be delivered uh, in a real trade agreement. Of course, that's still being negotiated. So this is a kind of early skirmish in that battle. Uh, but uh, she uh, stated both her skepticism about some of the provisions in the uh, Trans-Pacific Partnership, but also what the real standard should be, which is that it's got to grow jobs, it's got to uh, produce more good jobs in America than it displaces, and it's got to uh, ensure that uh, Americans get, a, get ahead by raising their wages. Uh, and uh, additionally, that it, it needs to be uh, strengthen the security of the United States uh, across the globe. That's still the standard that she will hold the president to, uh, but the TPP is still being negotiated. So there's no final text uh, to render a final judgment about. And so this is a, you know, as I said, uh, an early skirmish, and, and uh, we'll see where it lands. But she didn't want to take a position. It seemed on. Well, I think she wanted, you know, give the give uh, the president his chance to argue that that uh, he could deliver the kind of high standard trade agreement that that uh, that she has called for. Last question. Thematically today, I mean, she has the four fights. We heard about those in April. But what's what are we going to get today that's different in terms of a theme? I think you're going to hear a lot uh, more about uh, what brought her to this moment, uh, what motivates her, you know, uh, as, as we've uh, put out, her mother's story is one that really has been uh, something that has inspired her from, a, uh, from the time she was a girl uh, right till the time she steps on this stage today. And so you're going to hear a, uh, uh, a more personal uh, uh, version of uh, what has brought her on this journey uh, and why uh, her mother really taught her that, that everyone needs a champion. She needed uh, a ch uh, champions when she was a young girl and abandoned by her parents, uh, and that uh, that's what Hillary wants to do for, uh, for people across this country.